this action here. In this training session, we are going to use Tiger Sword to practice with our Kung Fu Wusu stances together. And gradually, we will add a degree of difficulty. Alright, first, let's start with our stances training together. I will do twice in slow motion from two different angles. One face to this direction, the other one face to the other direction, so you can see properly. So we are going to use horse stance and bow stance first. Body naturally straight and then open your left leg as horse stance. Alright, I'm coming back to this way. Horse stance. And then horse stance, train the both stance and stab your sword. Stab your sword. Make sure you hold your hands like this, okay? And first, we're gonna kick with our right leg first. Push kick. Push kick, you hook your foot. And you push your hands. And you hold your sword next to your waist. And then you step forward as horse stance and step sword. See? Step sword and push this hand up and then you push your hand through your waist through your waist and you push okay from here through your waist and push and then the second kick is post putting down your snap kick ha! so before was push kick hook your foot the second kick is snap kick put your hand like this after your snap kick and hold stance, all right, and then you're gonna repeat once more. All right, I face to this angle in slow motion so you can see clearly. Hold stance, bow stance, push kick, hold stance again, go. Next kick, four stand. All right. So actually, you can repeat twice, like uh, in a row. You can do twice, but I don't want to be out of the range, so I will do once. Okay, once. Let's try with energy. Body shoot up. Push kick. Horse stand. With energy, face to this angle. Alright, next, at a, a bit degree of difficulty, we're gonna add a crouching stance in. Okay, crouching stance in. Uh, give it a relax first. Relax your arms, shake your legs. All right, let's move on. In the last training session, we already learned Wan Hua. Okay, Wan Hua. So if you haven't seen it yet, I will just put the link down below in the description or the link here. All right. So. In here, we just do on your right hand set, okay? On your right hand set. Now your left hand set, okay? Right hand set, and then you open with your right leg. Hold your hands here. And you lift up with your left leg. Toes pulling down. And then we're crouching down as crouching stance. And push your hand out, left hand out, all right? Okay, out of the both stance, and you go forward as Kung Fu. Step sword. Next move, we're gonna slash with a sword. sword. Slash, like chop horizontally, okay? Chop, chop horizontally. And then turn your left foot inwardly into crouching stance. Okay? Body shoot up. And then both stance, push hand. Hold your sword next to your waist. And then step sword. Pop, crouching stance. All right, one more time. Repeat, slow motion, both stands. 
crouching stance. Full stance. Step short. And pop. All right. Keep it relaxed first. And then we can try from the beginning with the full energy. With the full energy, all right? Relax your shoulders. All right, let's start. Crouching stance. Four stance. Crouching stance. Four stance. Together. Let's try together. Go. Go. All right, let's move on to the next move. Okay. Uh, a little bit difficult. We are using Wu Dao. Okay. So Wu Dao, we have already learned this move in the last training station. Okay. So today we just combine this Wu Dao with the other moves together. All right. Let's start from the beginning. I pull my sword over your legs. Put your sword like this, okay? Hands like this. And now I'm going to use a turn to the right, Wu Dao first, and then I wrap my head forwardly. See? And then I turn to the left. Okay, this move we do a few more times with, with a slow motion. I turn to the right. Run my head forwardly. So that's the first move. Get used to with the first move so we can move on to the second move. A little bit faster. Alright, let's move on to the second move. So the second move, we still based on Wu Dao first. And step sword. One more time. The second move, we do one more time. And the third move, based on Wu Dao, I step back. Carry your sword on your shoulder, okay? So from the second move, I turn to the right. So like before you step sword, and you put your sword on your shoulder. And then you can move on, turn, Make sure on the same line. So from this angle you can see. Make sure when you turn on the same line. Okay? Same line. You don't go the other way, alright? Make sure you corner it. So from here, the third move. Turn to the right. Uh, on your shoulder. Like you carry your shoulder. We call Bei Dao. Carry your sword, sword on your back. I turn, make it on the line, and then you put your right leg behind your left leg. And you turn, Y, step forward. Okay? The third move, we try one more time. Turn to the right, Y, two, three. Make sure you coordinate. Here, a little bit challenge. One, inwardly, okay? Like uh, in the last training session, we have learned this one. So you just go on your left hand set. Left hand set, okay? Like this. Turn on your left hand set. One circle, step forward. Okay, let's combine those three moves together from the beginning. Ready? Slow motion. One. Step sword. Carry your sword. Pa. One more time. Can be this way, otherwise I'll be out of the range. Okay, I will, I will not go in detail with this move. 
So I turn to the right and my red arm, like red my head backwardly. And I turn around, full stance, push hand. Okay, one more time. After the third move, a little bit challenge. Turn, rub your head back with leaf. Do this. Push your hand. All right. After this move, you can use as block. So I step you block and chop. See that? From here, block. Start from the very beginning. A slow motion, slow motion. They call it become one. In the end, the lucky last move, we are going to step forward, use two hands, grab your sword. Okay? And step forward, chop, chop, the horse thing. And the other way, block. So I step at you, block, block, and chop. And back. Finish. Okay, so triple one time. After here. So those moves just to develop the coordination for your wrist, make you become stronger and also with the stance training as well, okay? So from both stance, block, chop. And step forward, I'm gonna chop, chop. And the other way, swap. And finish, take like this. So finish from here, you use you, you, your right hand, goes under your left hand. So put your left hand here, and then you throw your sword. Throw your sword, and you grab the end of here, like the handle. You grab your handle, like this. See, try one more time. Again. Ho. Lucky last, one more time, in slow motion. So you throw your sword, put your left hand here, Alright, let's try with the full speed together. And this time I will use my hot soft sword. You can see? Close to the real sword. Okay, see? It's very difficult to make a sound, but this one is too easy. See? But this one is, see? The, like a real one. You have to use a lot of strength to stab your sword. And this one is quite easy. But for beginners, it's good to practice with a soft sword first because it's lighter, but this one heavier. Let's do it together. to make a sound and it's pretty heavy but it's good for training all right i hope you enjoyed this training session remember guys practice makes better and perfect happy training happy life we'll see you next time